Hello and welcome to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli and today I'm going to take you through the all new 2024 Airstream Rangeline. This is a camper van that seats four and sleeps up to four with the optional pop top. This is built on the Ram Promaster 3500 series chassis with the 159 inch wheelbase and the 3.6 liter gasoline engine with 280 horsepower. This motorhome is 20 feet 11 inches long, so you can actually drive it downtown, you can drive it in the city, you can parallel park it. It comes in two exterior colors, granite or silver, and two interior decors that would be Moonstone, which is what we're going to see today, and Admiral Navy, which is a dark blue seat. You got running boards down the side, it has a pet leash holder over here. It's got an insect screen that's retractable. Manual awning, that's a Thule awning. You see the pop top. The exterior height with the pop top down is only nine feet, three inches. So it's got a low profile. It's got the darked out black rims. You have a slider window in the back here and this tows up to 3,500 pounds. So you can tow a little jet ski or a little boat behind it. Let me take you inside and then we'll walk around the outside. You can see all the cabinets are plywood with laminate. There's no particle board. You got a little cubby over here to the side to put some items in. You got some lighting controls. This is woven vinyl flooring, so it's very durable. And it's got a little padding in the bottom to keep it warm. When you Look at this grab handle to get in. That's some style right there. Plenty of room up here in the front. You can see it's uh, seats four because you have driver passenger seat. These both swivel when you're parked. And you have a bench seat back here with three point solder harnesses built into it. And then when you sit at the table, it's on a track and it slides back and forth so you could gain some comfort. And then this table comes out in different positions and you could seat your four people here. If you look over here, you got a slider window with an insect screen and a shade that rolls down. It's a blackout shade. And when you roll it down, it's got little pockets with storage cubbies. You have all the best in class Ram Promaster features. It has the rear driving camera, navigation, up over the cab area, some storage. You got a little light up here as well. And then th now this takes us to the pop top. You can see up in the top of the pop top, there's a max fan. So you could really ventilate this space. Stored up here right now, I have the ladder and this hooks in, swing it down, hook it on the little pleats over here. And when you go up here, you can see there's USB ports, there's some lights up here, and you have roll down insect screens with privacy shades. And you have a very comfortable teddy bear mattress with little springs underneath. It gives you space between the mattress and the floor. Come up here. Look at all the space you have. I'm five feet nine. You could sleep two adults up here easily. I'm not even touching the end. And then when you're up here, there's a little reading light that you have up here, a USB charge port as well. And then that whole front area, that thing zips down so you could watch the sunset or the sunrise and you could easily reach the controls to the fan. Over here, we have two roof locker storage, one here, one here. You got some reading lights. These pop down and you could angle them, spin them around. You have storage underneath the bench seat with USB and electrical outlets. This has a 2000 watt inverter and 200 watts of solar roof. It has a battery system that's 270 amp hours, lithium with heat. When you run off the battery, solar, and the inverter, you could run everything in this coach. If you want to run the rooftop air conditioning, it has a 2.8 kW gasoline quiet generator on board. You just start that up with a remote start stitch, let that run, and that will allow you to power your air conditioning and also charge your batteries. Behind this bench seat here, there's some additional storage, and you have plenty of aisle space in this. You can have four people in here. They could be out of your way. You could still prep some food here. Look at all the counter space you get. You got a pop-up outlet over here. You got a little cubby here, here, and here. Comes with a JBL wireless speaker, another light. You got some roof locker storage up top. Now check out all the drawers. You got an induction cooktop. This is a thousand watt induction cooktop. You can put it in, plug it in, cook your meals. You can bring it outside if you want. And then you have a place 
for silverware. Then you got a large drawer down here for trash. You can put your trash bags. And then you got some more drawer storage over here. And a little sink cover. All your system controls are up here, so you can monitor your tanks, your battery, you can turn lights on and off, you can start your generator, you could monitor climate control, everything is done through this touchscreen. Over here allows you to use your heat. This has a gasoline timberline heater and gasoline water heater on board. If you look at the ceiling, it's all aluminum, so there's no headliner that's gonna sag or absorb odors. Behind that, you have lizard skin for insulation. And look at all the lighting throughout. It's very bright and airy in here. And over here, we have a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator with 0.4 cubic foot freezer up top. This runs off the 12 volt battery system, so there's no propane on board at all. There's no propane for cooking, for heating. Everything runs off of the gasoline or the battery system on board and the inverter. You have a regular microwave up top here, power off the inverter. You got some storage up top here. You have some lighting controls here on this control board and check this out. Open this up, you got a spot for your water, for your, your pet or food. And if you don't have a pet, you can take this out for additional storage. Behind me is the bed. This is 52 by 74 and you have about a four inch mattress pad and these slats here allow air underneath your mattress and extra support. To get in and out of the bed, there's a step that slides out. There's storage in it too, but this has a tread that allows you to easily jump right up into the bed and has a lock once it's out, that way it doesn't roll in on you. Up the top over the bed, you get the 13,500 BTU Coleman air conditioning with a soft start. So it's gonna gradually start. It's not gonna give that jolt. You got some overhead roof locker storage, both sides of the bed. You got slider windows on both sides of the bed. And then there's a privacy curtain on either side of the bed and they roll up just like on this side over here. But when you have them down, they have the pockets. And in the back, there's an insect screen and that rolls up so you can look out. Also gives you privacy. You have a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. There's also a fire extinguisher on board. There's a spot so you could charge your phone at night. You got a little wardrobe storage. You can take these shelves out and hang shirts if you want to. Most people just roll them up and tuck them in. That's the best way to use them. You got some more storage up top here. Now let's check out the bathroom. Check out this really cool timbre door. Gives you a lot, all the privacy you're gonna need. Before you get in, you can hang up your shirt or your towel on these little hooks right here. And again, five feet nine, I could get in easily. And I got these big old boots on. I can close the door, have plenty of elbow room in here. But when you get in, you see you have a toilet paper holder over here. There's a mirror back here on the wall. You can spin it around and reflect. You got a toilet that dumps into a nine gallon black waste tank. That's where your toilet waste goes. This has a 28 gallon freshwater tank on board and it has a gray waste tank. A sink for washing your hands after you use the toilets over here. It's got a collapsible faucet. And then you have all your shower controls over here. And you have some lights in here and heat. When you have your furnace on, this, this compartment's actually heated, so it's not gonna be a cold room. Now, let's head around back. Back here is where you're gonna load all your cargo. Open the back doors. You got some molly panels back here. You get a little pocket. You have a place to fill up your fresh water tank over here. Look down at the floor. Diamond plating, insulated floor. When you load your gear in, you're not gonna gouge up your floor. There's L-Track built in that allows you to tie down all your gear. There's registers here. It allows the heat to permeate throughout the whole entire coach. This rolls down for the privacy. You have an electrical outlet up here, battery cutoff switch, and some lighting. Now, if you wanna load some gear that's bigger from here to here, what you do is you fold your mattress back, fold it up, and then this lifts up, tucks right out of your way, and you can store this nice and neat in here. Now look at all the space you have here. 
This allows me to get access to breakers and fuses. You got some pockets over here. This is service access, but there's also a drawer on this side. You got an aisle light. A lot of room back here. They also upgrade the suspension on these models so the driving is enhanced. 30 amp shore power connection. You got your waste gates for your toilet and shower waste. There's also a waste hose storage tube underneath the back of the coach. Open this up, gives you access. Take this, put it back here for a spray port for an outside shower, snap that in. City water connection to supply water when you go to a campground. A tank flush so you can spray out your black tank when you're done using it and a light to illuminate this area at night. Tanks are also heated for some cold weather camping. And you got a running board to get into the driver's compartment. Now check out the front. Look at this blacked out grill. What a mean look, right? That thing looks really, really cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the quick tour today. I'm Patrick Botticelli, Colonial Airstream, Millstone Township, New Jersey. Our telephone number is 800-265-9019. Visit us on our website, colonialairstream.com. See you next time.